Sony has released a brand new system update for their Xperia XZ Premium. So the build number is 45.0.8.7.90 and the update size is 300 megabytes. So we're gonna go ahead and download this. And I think this is the July 2017 security patch. So right now this phone is running 1st June 2017 security patch level and uh, this update should bring the security patch level up to date which is July 2017. Alright guys, here we are, the update is complete, you can see Android is upgrading. So when you unlock your phone, you'll be greeted with this message. Your Xperia Home has been upgraded to a new version, the desktop size has been changed and some of your shortcuts and widgets have been moved to fit the new layout. Hmm. You can always rearrange the desktop to better match your personal preferences, but I don't see anything radically different. Alright guys, it's been a couple of minutes since I've been playing around with this new update and there is nothing new with the launcher, it is exactly the same as it was before. So let's go to settings, about phone and here you can see the Android security patch level is 1st July 2017 so this is the latest version of security patch level for the Xperia XZ Premium and if you go to display settings, scroll down there is still no double tap to wake uh, which is present on the Xperia Z3 Compact so if you scroll down here you can see double tap to wake option is there and another thing I've noticed is the volume has increased slightly and this applies for both the uh, French facing stereo speaker sound and the volume in the headphones so I have tried it yes it is a little bit more louder than it was before And I think this much volume is just alright, it's pretty loud, it goes quite, and it becomes quite loud if you turn the volume up. And this applies to headphones as well. Usually I listen to music with my volume at around 60% but with this update I have seen that even this much 40 to 50% sound is enough. Because Sony customizes their software according to different regions so uh, and again there are two different models of the XZ Premium. One is the dual SIM model, this is the dual SIM model and the other one is the standard single SIM model. It might be because I have turned on the automatic optimization but it does make a difference with this update. And other stuff is still the same. The battery life is still yet to be tested because I have just updated this phone. Alright guys, so thank you guys for watching this video and do stay tuned for more videos like these and I'll see you guys next time.